So this was recorded on 24th of January, the day before my last semester exam. And I was a bit confused, nervous and even stressed because I felt like I was not remembering anything and I felt scared. But then, okay, the exam went well. So this was the situation of my table the books notes everything was so messed but anywho this all are the notes that i made by myself so anyhow that's all how it went i had my friend studying with me and we were craving for some sushi so i ordered some sushi and it was a lot a lot it was like around 42 pieces but then yes somehow me and my friend we managed we didn't finish it all but we ate it mm, the reviews okay it was not bad it was good the chicken and the shrimp ones were very good but um yeah i have eaten more better sushis here in gomel so this is how the situation was this is all the sushis we got and can you see how much they were they were too much but we were in exam stress and actually i was not stressing my friend she made me stressed but yeah and then later after eating the sushi we revised a bit more so these are the notes i was asking my friend and she was asking me it was a kind of a situation i was explaining her and teaching her so yeah these are the notes and so yeah this is me asking her actually this is her answering to all the topics i was asking her ignore my clothes stand over there and then we did a bit of revision again before she left to her home after she left it was around 1 am so i revised a bit myself again and everything felt so new oh my god i don't know why but then after revising for a bit in the bed i was trying to sleep but i couldn't sleep anyhow i managed myself to sleep for three hours and i woke up early in the morning around five something and then i took a shower i brushed i got ready and left home early that day and this is my morning face i was so sleepy you can see my eyes and face so swollen up but it's exam what to do so then i did all the morning rituals took a shower and then it was very cold but yeah i had to take a shower because it would keep me energetic and awake the main thing because i was running in less sleep like i was sleep deprived so i had to layer up and then this is the situation and then i wore my shoes while wearing my shoes i was just thinking not shoes boots actually while wearing it i was just thinking like oh my god i don't know anything like i did a study together with my friend but the thing is that you know when you are not yourself fully prepared and you're teaching somebody you just revise the same thing again and again and then you get confused that you don't know the other things while you know the things so i was just so messed up and you know i was just praying oh god like i want this day to go good and thinking all of that praying from my mind from my soul asking my parents to pay for pray for me that's how i left for the exam so it was early morning so this is like the weather <laughs> it's 6 22 a.m and it's raining so let me put my cap on and let's walk the worst part when it rains is that you can see it becomes slippery like it forms a layer like a glass layer it forms like a glass layer and it's very slippery to walk when it settles down so i don't know is it gonna be a bad day or a good day but yeah let's go and at this moment I wish I had a car so uh, this is the situation 
I need to take uh, tickets because I didn't buy the bus pass for this month as we had only a couple of days at the beginning of the month and even we had holidays so I didn't get so I have to get two tickets one for one to go to the hospital and one for coming back oh my god This is so slippery. You see it's buses are coming. So that's in the corner of the bus stop. Let's see the situation very bad. Oh my god. She's so slippery. I'm walking with tiny steps, but I feel like I'll just fell. Can you see the layers formed? It's like this. It's like ice, you know, sheet of ice. So it's very slippery. This is the place. It's closed. Oh my god, I need to take a ticket and it's closed. So the first bit of the day already happened. The ticket counter was closed. My friend missed the bus. So I'm in the bus stop waiting for her for she got into another bus so um, I'll be taking took it inside the bus and let's get in the bus I don't know this is the first trip from of the day I don't know how many more is waiting for there so this is the bus she is in so let's get in the bus and see find her and buy myself a ticket because I have money in my card and um, I don't have it in cash like I didn't get cash because I had enough money in my card for like how much I need for today so hmm, let's see what happens my friend she was so anxious that she decided to take me in the fastest mode of transport in Belarus that's called the Marshutka so we reached the hospital so fast that the hospital was closed another shit of the day the doors are still closed and we reached early my friend she was so so in she is so in she how are you prepared <laughs> somehow from the behind door of the we hospital, hospital we sneaked and in and we got into the department and everything was off switched off because there was nobody alhamdulillah the exam went good after the exam i was so hungry so i went to the grocery shop down of my building and got something to eat and you know when it's exam the home is so messy so this was the situation but i decided to have my breakfast and take a nap and then in the afternoon around 12 one i went out with abdul and akis as it was the last day of our case in Belarus and they would be going back to Sri Lanka. Abdul is staying here for internship. So we had a business lunch and we chit chatted for a long time. We sat and put our hearts and souls out as it was the last day. We clicked pictures, we chit chatted, had some tea, did some crafty things with our fingerprints and Malinti Akka had to leave by then so we sat and we were chit-chatting for a bit more time and then this was the crafty we said about we uh, did it with our fingerprints and then I had to go to hostel so while going to hostel this was the view look at the beautiful birds flying because Akka was going and she gave me a lot of her things which she didn't need it and the next day it was so overwhelming I still can't get over it it's been five days they have left and it's, 
it just feels that a part of me is left with them hope you guys like the vlog till here subscribe for more such vlogs i mean